What is good, my rags of fitness people, my rags of fitness folks, my rags of fitness fam, it's your man Rags. Back off up in this thing, and when I tell you I'm off up in it, I'm talking about I'm knee deep all the way off up in it for all my weight loss journey people. Keep God first, keep your head to the sky, shake the haters off. And for all of my Crimson Tide football fans, can I please get a roll, Tide roll, baby? <laughs> As you can see, Rags don't have a cap on today. I'm a little scruffy, but don't worry about it. Now, for all of my new people that's coming to check Rags out, please hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, like, comment. For all of my people that always come and check Rag out, Rags out, man. Hey, thank you. You keep me going on a daily basis. You see where Rags at? Rags is not at headquarters. I'm at this old place. Hey, I got to get stuff done. But we're here today to talk about all of the new coaching hires, all of the new changes with old Nicholas Saban and the Crimson Tide. Now, this is going to be a real short video because I got some things to do. But I do want to touch bases with my Rags and Fitness people, my Rags and Fitness folks, my Rags and Fitness fam. And I want to talk to y'all about all these hires that's been going on. As we all know, the ball dropped. The ball, hey, we got the ball rolling with Tommy Reeves. Old Tommy the Bees Knees Reeves. Offensive coordinator came down from Notre Dame, right? The fighting Irish. After that, we kept it pushing. We went and got it. Mr. Kevin, the real deal, still. Hey, he's beginning to grow on me more and more each day. Just the thought of it, just to know what he's going to do with these young guys. He's got coaching under him, right? So we went and got him. We also went and got this guy, Mr. Austin Armstrong. He's going to be the linebacker coach, the inside linebacker coach. He comes from, uh, what is it, Southern Mississippi, Golden Eagles. That's where he's coming from, right? He was a defense coordinator. They say he was a great young man. You know, he might not have had the tools to work with, but he he did what he whatever he had, he worked with, right? So we're going to have him working along with Kevin Steele. They're going to exchange ideas, they're going to have some stuff going, right? Who else we got? We got Mr. Uh, McNulty, right? What is his name? What is his name? Mr. McNulty is his name. We would give him a nickname, but we're going to leave it at McNulty right now because it might get rated R in here if I said some stuff, if I gave him a nickname. But we went and got this guy McNulty. Now, McNulty was uh, up there in Notre Dame with Mr. The bees knees Reeves. Now, Mr. Reeves came down. He probably talked to Saban and said, hey, Saban, I know you got some stuff going on here, but hey, man, let me bring something of my own here so we can get some things going. Now, I got some chemistry with a guy that's still up there in old South Bend. I want to bring him down here with me so we can get some stuff going. So Mr. Saban said, hey, if you believe that you can get some stuff going, if you're going to develop my quarterbacks, if you're going to develop Mr. Jalen Miro, Mr. Ty Simpson, Eli Holstein, if you're going to develop these guys, then hey, I'm going to allow you to bring what you want to bring. He went on up there and he got Mr. McNulty. And Mr. McNulty came down and they're about to come up with some ideas. It's going to be killer. They're going to be killer. And then Mr. Nick Saban sat back and said, hey, man, what else can I do? He get a phone call from Mr. Ha Ha Clinton Dixie. He say, hey, let me come on board and let me show some of these young guys the ropes. Let me show them this championship pedigree that we come from, this lineage that we come from. Let me teach the guys. Playoff development. Player development. Mr. Ha Ha Clinton Dix was hired for that. Mr. Nick Saban wasn't done. He sat back and he needed something else. He needed a little bit more. So what he decided to do was go and get him an special assistant. A special assistant now. Mr. Ken Wisenhunt. Wisenhunt. I'm going to say Wisenhunt. Mr. Ken Wisenhunt. So he went and got this guy, right? He's needing his own special assistant. We're going to get some things kicked off the right way. We got another pipeline to the NFL. Not only is Mr. Nick Saban a strong pipeline himself, he's going to get Mr. Ken Wisenhunt. That's another pipeline. Gonna do some good recruiting. We're gonna pull some guys in from these other states. We're gonna flip some guys, is what we're gonna do from some of these so called juggernaut dynasty teams over there to the east of us. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flip some guys. So we got some 
great coaches that's going to be coming in, man. Some guys are going to be analyzing these players. These guys are going to be helping develop these players. Some guys are just going to be straight up putting these guys through the ringer, man. Mr. Kevin, the real deal still, man, he's going to get that defense straightened out. And like I said before, we're going to be batting balls down at the line of scrimmage. We're going to be picking them off when you go deep with the safeties. We're going to be locking them down with the DBs, right? And we're just going to be getting nasty with them linebackers. That's exactly what we're going to do, right? And that's what I come here to talk to my Alabama fans about today. These new coaching hires. Now, listen, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, this coaching carousel is still going. It's going, it's going. We got this new XFL that's out. I mean, it's a lot to talk about, but old Rax has been a little busy. And I'm promising you guys, I will be giving you more content. I will be dropping more videos. But I also have a um, podcast show that I will be doing tomorrow with Mr. Nick Saban Jr. himself. And this is going to be on the CTS Sports Room. CTS Sports Room. Shout out to Spencer. Shout out to Roll Tide Rise Up. Shout out to uh, Nick Saban Jr. And shout out to my guy William. Shout out to all those guys, man, the Four Horsemen. They always come and show me love, man. And I got a lot of love for them. And I will be on their platform Tuesday. Tuesday night, I will get the time for you guys. Put it in here somewhere. I don't know the exact time. But tomorrow night, tune in to the CTS Sports Room. If you want some good content. If you want to see some good stuff. If you want some prime time stuff going on, you're going to tune in to the CTS Sports Room. Because Rags will be there. Mr. Nick Saban Jr. will be there. And I'm not sure if he's got any more guests coming in or not. But if he does, they're going to be there too. And you don't want to miss it. So, with all that being said, I ain't got my hack to point at. You just got to imagine it's there. Watch this. Already. Yeah, y'all.